I want to give you all a cloth diaper update. I haven't done a cloth diaper video in a while. Um, my child is now 17 months old. So I've been doing this for uh, 17, maybe 16 months. I didn't do it the first month, but I now know all the ins and outs of how this works and doesn't work. And I just wanted to update you. Um, I have bought three, actually four different types of diapers and they're all pocket diapers. I have Bum Genius. Alva Baby, Sun Baby, and Fuzzy Buns. Now, my favorite cloth diaper to use, hands down, is Sun Baby. And there's one right here for you. You can see there's the Sun Baby tag. And I like this diaper because it's very inexpensive. It was a little over $5 um, for one. And that includes the, the liner. And the liner that I use is a blended liner. It's bamboo and microfiber. Um, this diaper is inexpensive. It fits my baby so well. I know she's not going to leak out of it unless she just pees a ton. But literally, she's never leaked out of these diapers. Um, she's a very small baby. She, again, is 17 months and she only weighs 20 pounds. So she's really small. Um, these are a size 1 all-in-one diaper um, the website offers two different sizes one and two and I kind of wish that I would have bought size two because she's already on the last um, leg snap and yeah she's not even two yet so I don't know if they're gonna last her that long but I would definitely buy some more and next time I buy size two so if you have a big baby or even a small baby go with size two definitely um, Another diaper that I like a lot is the Bum Genius diaper. And the reason why this is my second favorite diaper is just the price. Uh, this diaper is about $15 a, pe a, pe yeah, a diaper. So yeah, that's a very big jump. Um, but it's definitely a quality diaper. Um, the PUL has stayed in, uh, in contact. It hasn't started to laminate on either one of these. Um, they fit my baby really well. She's still only on um, the middle size for height, so I can still let this out one more time. They come with two different size liners. They're microfiber liners, and she's on the second size liner. And you can see it's really, really long. It's a little bit of a stain on it, but all I do is I just snap this up like this, and then it's shorter. And then once I um, let the diaper out for its full size, then this will be the right size. And this works really well. So I'm really happy with these two diapers. Um, the third diaper, my third favorite is the Alva Baby. Um, I've expressed in other videos my, um, my likes and dislikes for this diaper, but I'll just give you a quick recap. Um, it's a very good diaper. It's very inexpensive. It's, again, only $5 a piece but they just don't hold up well. I've had to replace multiple of these diapers, which wasn't really a hassle. They just sent me new ones, um, but none of them lasted very long. The PUL will start to uh, delaminate and it'll bubble and it'll separate from the um, outside fabric. And other than that, I like this diaper. It fits my baby. Um, Although it doesn't fit her as well as the other two because I believe this diaper is better for bigger or chunkier babies. So if you have a, um, a little meatball baby, this would be good for you. Um, when I originally bought these, the website claimed they had a lifetime warranty and then they changed that warranty on me um, a little bit over a year into it. And, and now it's only a one year warranty. So they kind of said, oh, so sorry, too bad for you. You don't have your lifetime warranty anymore. So it's not that big of a deal because they're not very expensive, but I was really let down that they didn't really do anything for me. And I had proof. I printed out all the warranty information and everything, and they just kind of said, SOL. So that really irritated me. Um, the fourth diaper that I have is Fuzzy Buns, and I don't even have a, an example for you, but that's because I don't use the fuzzy buttons. They were very expensive. I think I paid $20 a piece for the diaper and the insert, which is a microfiber insert, and they just never fit my baby. Um, I don't like that 
The way that you tighten the fuzzy bun diapers and change the size is um, is through an elastic. It doesn't really have it doesn't have the buttons. So in order to change the leg size, you just have to like pull the elastic. So you can check out my other video on that. They just never fit her well. She always leaked out of them. Other people love them. I didn't. So um, it's a good idea to always try different brands because you're going to run into this. Just because someone likes them for their baby doesn't mean they're going to fit your baby. Um, but I would say overall, the, the hardest thing now with cloth diapering is the poop situation. Um, now that my daughter is eating all solids, obviously things are a little bit messier. And you definitely have to have a diaper sprayer. And if not, you have to like dip the diaper into the toilet water and just kind of like mess it around a little bit so that all the poop falls off into the toilet. Trust me, it gets really messy. It's definitely not like an easy task, but if you're really um, adamant about cloth diapering, you can do it. It's simple. It's gross, but it's simple. We're moms, we can do it. Um, another thing is I sometimes use disposable diapers, especially when I'm going out for a longer period of time because these diapers, they do hold a lot of pee, but sometimes it's just not enough. Like I've gone to the grocery store and I changed her before we left and, you know, 30 minutes into it, she peed all the way out her diaper, down her leg. You know, they just, they don't hold pee like disposables do. There's no question about that. But that's not the reason why I chose to do cloth. Um, so once your baby gets older, you might you know, consider the option to do some disposables. Um, it's just easier for me when I'm out. I don't have to worry about changing her clothes and this and that, but it's definitely doable. Um, the other thing is at night. I tried and tried and tried to do multiple liners, different brand liners, different material liners, but it just isn't gonna work. When, you know, your baby rolls around and they're more mobile, um, she just continued to pee out of her diapers every single night. So for my sanity, I put her in or in disposable at night. Um, it's just easier. Now, some people, it works for them the other way, but for me, it didn't. So I would say those are, you know, the main things with cloth diapering once your baby's a little older. It's definitely easier when they're small. They don't pee as much. If they're breastfed, their poop is very water soluble. You don't have to worry about any swooshing around the toilet or diaper sprayers, but it's definitely worth it. Um, 17 months in, I would say I would definitely do it for another, my second baby. Um, it's a lot of work, but I like saving the money. I like that it's um, more earth friendly and that it's better for my baby and her skin. And yeah, so if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I will put up a few more videos about some other ideas that I have with cloth diapering, but thanks for watching. See you next time.